All right, Will, so the next step in, um, in positioning is staggering. And I like players when uh, they're at the net to always stagger. Now, one person is slightly forward than the other. So if the ball is in my half of the court, I'm forward. Susie okay. would be a little bit back. And um, that's what staggering means, is that you are not on the same line. Correct. Okay, so one person is closer to the net than correct. the other. Correct. And right. the person in front is always the, who's ever half the ball is in. Okay. All right, so people sometimes forget this or get confused with it. So I tell them that the ball has a magnet. And right. we, have, we have a magnetic field of attraction. So whoever's closest to the ball is further up. So the right. ball's over here, I'm more attracted to it than my partner is. If the ball shifts to that side, then she's more attracted to it and she has to go up. Now okay. what this does is several things. First of all, it eliminates middle confusion, which is a very common problem with recreational Whose players. Whose ball is it? Whose yeah. ball is it? Or both go for it or no one goes for it. Okay. And balls go through the middle at an alarming rate and people crash into each other also at an alarming rate. So whoever's in front gets the ball, period. Like I'm in front. And for as long as there's been doubles, whoever's closest to the net has the first right to the ball. Yeah. There's this myth that it's your half, my half. Nope, it's whoever's front half gets the first. Okay, it gets the first shot at the ball. Correct, because in doubles, you're always trying to take time away from your opponent. So you're from front, it's your ball. So I'm up, it's my ball, she's back. She, and if I, she can see because she's back that if I'm struggling to get it or not gonna get it, then she has a shot at it. Okay. But it's my first attempt at, at getting it. So even if this person goes cross court, back at Susie, if you can get a racket on it, you sure. go and get it. That's what good doubles right. players do, right? right. And I'll, I would get that ball and take it right at the net person and the point would be over. Okay. As opposed okay. to letting her take it and hit it back cross court and we're still okay. in the round. Gotcha. Um, so, so the first thing it eliminates is middle con confusion. The other thing it eliminates is the, um, the cross court lob, right? Because we have huge to- Huge problem. Huge problem. Oh my problem. gosh, I get lobbed to death. What do right. I do? And in recreational tennis, it's all about the lob, right? Yeah. So somebody has to always be accountable for the lob. So. My partner's back on this. It's okay. her lob, right? I'm not worried about any, about any lob right now. Okay. Including the one over me. Okay, so you don't right? even cover the lob over you. I mean, if I can reach it, I will. Yeah. But generally speaking, when I'm back, I have to help my partner on the lobs. Now, right. what's good about this is that if Susie has to cover this lob, she can intercept it. And we'll demonstrate this. Okay. Um, the, a ball going down the line and a person intersecting it is very doable. Okay, right? yeah, 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 okay. You see that? Now, if we reverse staggered, so Susie's up there, and I'm back, and we're reverse staggered. Yep. Not only is the middle open. Yep, that's but true, also, creates a gap. Right, but also the cross court lob is open. Now, the cross court lob is running away from me. I it's see. it's going cross court. So if you were gonna right. chase it, you're chasing, the ball's moving away from you the ball if keeps you're running, running after away. it. Right. But if, it, if you got lobbed, in the situation you were describing, then she it's not running away as much. Steps, you can get right? to it. Okay. And, so there, and there's Clever. also six more feet to hit a cross court lob than there is yeah. to hit a down the line lob, which I'm sure so you've all heard. So you're shrinking the court. Yep. Correct. So it's all about where you position yourself to give your opponent the least likely shot that they can make, okay. which is in this case, a down the line Thompson lob. Okay. It's That's why you're leaving one. open. So we're going to demonstrate how proper staggering works and then we'll also show what happens when you reverse stagger. Reverse stagger, okay. With reverse gotcha. stagger is when the person that should be in front is back yeah, and vice versa. You do it the wrong yeah. way and you put yourself out of position as Correct. a result. Okay. Correct, Gotcha. All right. Nice shot. And so that, just for clarification well, purposes, that was not your ball, right? Not necessarily, that, but it was okay. too hard for her to react. So was it? Okay. Yeah. So that's just a good shot. It's a great shot, and I try to help her out. But in a, in a, let, let's, let me clarify, um, more generally, if that had not been quite as good of a shot, that might have been Susie's her ball. Her ball, correct. Okay. I would yeah. love for Susie to take that for okay. me. Cool. Especially since it's her forehand volley. You. Thank you. Stay off. You're good. Okay, and what I noticed, what I noticed when we had the lob over here, because you were staggered properly, Gigi, up, you were up close. You didn't even move for that ball, try and cover right. it, because you knew Susie was going to be back, me. and sure enough, she was back to cover that lob yep. and keep things going. Good job, Susie. Same. Up. Oh, sorry. That's a winner. Oh, well, we let That's those go, though. That's the only thing I can't, we can't cover. Down the line lop. 
Cross court on the first. Thank you, Susie. Woo. Good job. So there now, was earlier we saw how obviously great shot by Meredith where Susie wasn't able to get it and uh, they won the point. But that one she was able to close. Correct. And then she has all sorts of real estate to work Correct. with. In that case, she decided to hit and the also, drop, lo, drop keep in ball. mind also that normally there'd be a person at the net, right? Normal doubles, sure. they're, they're one up, one back. So this person's taking that ball, then a person, and the point is over. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. 